hi guys welcome back to my channel it's Deanna also known as D's curve today's video is twofold so the first part is I'm gonna be turning my home or my bedroom into a mini spa a mini nail salon you guys I'm in dire need of a mani and pedi just look at my nails and I won't dare show you my toes. You guys do not deserve that. But as you guys know, right now, the nail salons are closed. So we're going to take it back, like how we used to do back in the day. So I'm going to give myself a mani and a pedi, and I'm going to share that with you. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to be sharing a story. So the story will be of the time I found out I was allergic to lobster. Before we jump into today's video, make sure you subscribe to my channel, turn on your post notifications so you don't miss any of my uploads. Share with a friend, comment down below, and let's jump into it. you guys so I'm currently soaking my feet it's really good to soak your feet first um, so that way you can soften your skin if you need to scrub your heel well you're definitely gonna need to scrub your heel that can get all soft and it makes the process a lot easier it also softens your cuticles is it called cuticles on the toes or is cuticles only on the fingers I don't know but <laughs> yeah so while that's happening i'm gonna be just softening my nails so i'm gonna soak that in some warm water and then i'm gonna begin my story time so this happened in 2014 the summer of 2014 i brought two of my friends to dominica victoria and danielle and i don't know what took over me but i felt like being a rebel so i had never eaten lobster in my entire life and i don't know if you guys know but i was raised adventist so part of adventist religion or part of adventist beliefs is that lobster is unclean so i had never eaten lobster in my life before but i was in dominica i was on vacation my friends were with me so i figured what better time than now to try it so we went to sunset I think it's called sunset it's that really famous restaurant in dominica that's known for their lobster so we went there and i ordered a lobster platter and if you guys are familiar with sunset at all you guys trying to tell a story and do your nose at the same time it's hard so anyways i'm gonna use this little tool right here to kind of push my cuticles back so it becomes easier for me to cook them so I went to Sunset and I ordered me a lobster platter. You know, so we're chatting it up, chatting it up, waiting for our food to come. Everything's going really good, everything's fine. And you guys, my food came, it was this huge platter. Uh, the lobster was huge. So I'm excited to dive in. But if I'm being quite honest with you, the moment the lobster got to the table, I felt my throat itching. And I just ignored it, I'm like, oh, you know, I didn't tell my friends or anything. I just ignored it. I took my first bite into it. I think the shell was already off, so it was really easy to just bite into it. And you guys, instantly, I felt like I had swallowed glass. So my throat felt like there was something in there pricking my throat. And I'm like, um, what's really going on? This is just me thinking to myself, what's really going on? Still ignoring it you guys still ignoring it so after the second bite I could not ignore it anymore I kept going <clears throat> <clears throat> and my friends are like Deanna are you okay and I'm like ah, I don't think I'm okay <laughs> I'm laughing about it now but the thoughts that were going through my head it was really a scary moment so anyways I start coughing, coughing, coughing. I look down on my legs, my whole thighs, both of my thighs were completely red and it had a rash all over it. This is happening in the span of like two minutes, you guys. So this is happening really, really, really fast. So my thighs start to bump up. I'm feeling my arms. I'm feeling bumps all over my arms. So I pick up my phone and look at my face, you guys. My eyes are this small. My face is red all over here. Have you guys ever seen the movie Hitch? When he ate something and his face got all swollen? Okay, so it wasn't that bad, but it was on the way to that. 
Needless to say, we had to stop dinner because I felt like I couldn't breathe. So I was like <sighs> gasping for air, trying to like make space in my throat. You guys, it was so, so bad. So I'm like, you guys, I think I have to go to the hospital. Like it's getting really bad. So the drive from the restaurant to back to Portsmouth, which is where the hospital was, was about probably like 20, 25 minutes. So I was the only driver because obviously my friends are from the US, they can't drive in Dominica. So I'm trying to drive and my nose is like, cold is flowing out of my nose, like it's running. I had tissue in the car, I used all the tissue. My friend actually took, she had on like a jeans shirt over her dress. She took her shirt off to give it to me so I could blow my nose because there was like, it was just running, 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 like all over the place. So I'm like blowing my nose, my eyes are closed and I can't breathe and I'm driving. I'm like, guys, somebody's gonna have to drive. I can't drive, like I can't concentrate on driving because I can't breathe. And they're like, uh, Victoria's looking at Danielle like, not it. Danielle's looking at Victoria like, not it. <laughs> Victoria's like, I just got my license this summer. I just learned how to drive. Danielle, you have to drive because you've been driving for all these years. And I'm like, somebody is going to have to drive because it can't be me. So my fist is bumpy, my legs is bumpy, I can't breathe. I think I got into the passenger seat. I don't remember who was Victoria or Danielle that drove. And I was like, you know what? Don't take me to the hospital, just take me to where we were staying. I think with time, it'll go down. So they took me to where I was staying and it wasn't going down. So then we had a friend, so Danielle drove to the friend's, my friend's house to get me some Benadryl. So they got me Benadryl, I'm like literally chugging the Benadryl and it's not any better. You guys, it was such a scary experience, but it was still funny because my friends were there and they were laughing and making it funny. So I've pushed all my cuticles back. I'm gonna go in with this little number right here and I'm gonna cut. Anyways, they brought me the Benadryl, it was not working. I'm like, you guys, I have to go to the hospital. So, got to the hospital. This is Dominica's version of a hospital. It's really like a clinic. So I got to the clinic and side note, patient confidentiality is not a real thing in Dominica. So I should also say that my mom did not know that we were going to that restaurant. And also she did not know that I was about to order lobster. So I did not want to, my mom to know what happened to me. So I got to the hospital as soon as I walked in. And then he's like, not dumb, nice, yeah, Morana. Don is my mother's name. She's like, to me, you is done, child. And I'm like, excuse me no i'm not no i didn't say, i didn't say no i'm not i'm like excuse me ma'am like i put on the most american accent ever i was like talking to my friends in the most american accent to let her not think i'm from dominica because i didn't want her to go back and tell my mom because she would that's how they do in dominica they would when they see my mom on the street like oh dawn i saw your daughter at the hospital and she was off um inflamed and whatever i did not want my mom to know so i put on an american accent i'm not sure if it worked because she could definitely see that she it looked like she knew me so i just ignored her and then they gave me a shot and almost instantly i could feel myself get better like everything started to like come back to normal my face started coming back to normal my throat was still itchy but everything started coming back to normal and then it was Wednesday night, and if you guys know anything about Dominica or Portsmouth on a Wednesday night, Wednesday night used to be reggae night. That was when there'd be a party and it was solely reggae music being played. So I was really excited to go, and I wanted my friends to go too because I always talked about it. Turns out I couldn't go to reggae night because my face, as although I felt better, my face was still swollen. So my friends ended up going to reggae night without me, and I know I said this was their first time in Dominica, but my cousin went with them, a few of my other Dominican friends went with them. So I could stay in the hotel that we were staying in while we were sitting in the guest house, stay there, and I could actually hear the music from reggae night and I couldn't go. So moral of the story, you guys, don't eat lobster if you know you're allergic, or if you don't know you're allergic, maybe take a small bite and then probably have Benadryl on hand just in case you have a reaction because it was not fun at all. All right guys, so I'm gonna get back to doing my nails because I can't concentrate while I'm talking and doing my nails and then I'll show you the process as I go along.
Okay, so you guys, I finished doing my nails in terms of like cleaning, filing, cutting. I finished scrubbing my feet. Let me just say, I normally tip my nail tech very well. But after this experience, I will be tipping a little bit more because that was hard work. So I'm about to paint my nails, but while I'm painting my nails, I want my foot to get a little extra love. So I got this mask for the feet. So I'm gonna put that on. And you're supposed to keep it on for 15 to 20 minutes. So that should give me more than enough time to paint my nails and have my feet soak a little bit. guys so my nails are done I kept it simple with a nude toes are done I just kept it basic with white I am a white toe type of girl and yeah my mani petty is done you guys this was hard work I appreciate my nail tech so much more now so I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you enjoyed my little story time I will see you in the next one don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching bye